I've been silenced to not talk about how I was actually beat up in my classroom. There are many teacher stories. Which one should I tell? Teachers are being verbally and physically abused. I've been shoved and pushed numerous occasions with very little consequences for the students. I was in the lunchroom when I was struck from behind, run into a concrete wall, thrown down on tables and choked until I was blue. I ended up with a traumatic brain injury and I got stuff going on with the whole right side of my body. I probably won't go back to teaching and I might not ever go back to work. By advocating for my kids, I was silenced and my whole family was punished. I'm here to tell the stories they can't tell. I don't think it's right that a child can throw a chair at a teacher and no solution be sought. A lot of students don't like to be held accountable. This is a great way for them to get back at the teacher. It just takes one or two students banding together and all of a sudden a teacher could possibly lose their job. If this is what is happening in the best school districts that is named in Newsweek, in Time, what is going on in the other school districts? We need to focus on this system, this institution, from the top down. The system is broken, and we need to do something better to make it better. I think that they should start disciplining the kids more instead of just saying, oh, it's okay, I guess you might be having a bad day. I heard story after story how teachers get bullied and they're silenced. When you're not given support from the people that are making the policies in your district, and when you say, I need help, and somebody comes after you, and you are terrified of doing something wrong or making the wrong move, you can't teach. The way it is today, if teachers talk about an abusive situation, if you report that, too often you are retaliated against you are threatened with termination, you are perceived as a troublemaker, and you lose hope. Twin City superintendents destroyed dozens of teachers over the past 10 years, and the Minnesota Department of Education and the Teachers Union did nothing. The union is supposed to be working for me because I'm paying their dues. This is not about me. This is not about you. This is about helping students. Honesty and transparency combined with integrity is what allows us as a culture to solve problems. We have to have some sort of standard of our government. Swallow your pride and fix this. Fix this now. This is not working. Teachers are being exploited for trying to make our schools better. Public school teachers are warriors. 